but tonight he faces spending the next 15 months in jail after what's thought to be the largest ever seizure of child pornography in Britain. Robin Phillips from East Grinstead admitting possessing half a million indecent images of children. He was caught in a secret police operation in Trafalgar Square. Catherine Carpenter reports. This is Robin Phillips, an eminent scientist with two young children who has an obsession for child pornography. Today, his behaviour was described as compulsive, obsessive and addictive. The court heard he'd gathered over half a million indecent images of children during a decade of dedicated downloading. But this summer, he went further, taking his own photographs of young girls in central London. It was a Sunday afternoon in August when plainclothes officers spotted Mr Phillips here in Trafalgar Square. They say he was hurrying between the statues in an agitated and frantic state. Children were playing on the lions and he was pointing his camera at them. One girl had her skirt hitched up and the officers saw him taking a picture of her underwear. When he was arrested, he said it was a hobby he'd had for some years and he didn't realise it was illegal. Today, the judge reminded Phillips his actions could expose children to long-term sexual abuse. But one child protection consultant has criticised the 15-month prison sentence. Clearly, the gravity of the photographs themselves has dictated the length of the sentence that he's received. So they aren't of this severe nature. But given that, he's come here particularly to photograph children. And furthermore, he's, he's actually gone online and deliberately downloaded child pornography from online. So I think it's very serious. Since his arrest, Phillips has been living with his parents in East Grinstead after what's been described as a spectacular fall from grace. This crime covers all levels and that for an astrophysicist to be doing it is indeed shocking but unfortunately not surprising. Robin Phillips will sign the sex offenders register and he's been banned from working with children or having a camera in a public place for 10 years. Catherine Carpenter, BBC South East Today, London.